All right, let's look at how to do comments in C++. So there are two kinds of comments. There is a single line comment, which has just two slashes followed by your comment. And you have a multi-line comment, which is a slash star followed by a closing slash star. Now, normally what you see a lot in um, code examples is people will have um, lots of stars in the middle, but that's not actually necessary. So you can see multi comment. And I can take out this star right here in the middle. It doesn't matter. It's not really necessary, but it does look prettier and it does help you find where the end of the multi-line comment is. All right, so how do we use these? Well, typically in your code, you might want to comment single lines or pieces of code to explain what they're doing. So display the phrase, actually a sentence, I guess. Hello world. All right, so as a single line comment, I can put it right here or I can put it at the end. After this, displays hello world. So you can see both of those work great as comments. If I run my code right here, it compiles and it doesn't display anything other than the text that it's being told to display with the cout command. All right, so let's look at multi-line comments. If I wanted to do a multi-line comment, I might do something like this. I do a slash star, and then I do, this automatically fills it in for me, uh, something about my program. So I could write, um, simple comment example and maybe the author is me Joseph and you can even put things like date if you wanted all these things are useful in being able to figure out what what the comment does or what this code does and and how to use it you can even put licensing information in here Another thing people use um, multi-line comments for is sometimes you have a piece of code and you want to, well, not use it because you're afraid that it's causing some kind of an error. So you can go be between, well, from the start of the code, you put an open star, and then at the end, put a close slash star, and it'll comment out the entire block of code. So the entire block is now commented out and is not being used. So multi-line code can be fixed that way. So I can remove that. Or another thing you can do is you could use a single line comment and comment out the individual line of code. So slash slash in front of it. That way you don't have to delete the code and you still have the code there. It's just not being used right now. So if I run this code, it will just end. It returns with code zero. That's it. And then when I figured out, okay, I know what the problem is, I can re-add that code back in there. I can keep the rest of my comments around it, and it's fine. So you have single lines of code, which are two slashes, followed by your comment, which can be either on lines by themselves, or they can be after code on a line. Now, you can't have code that's not completed code. So if it's like a something like um if something uh, and then do slash slash that kind of does weird things <clears throat> it might work but you know you have to be careful about situations like if you wanted to do commas and things like that it might have come into compiler errors so just keep track of where things actually are if you comment out code and make sure they still complete properly if you uh, comment out a closed curly brace or some of that, you might still need to have a closed curly brace. But this gives you an idea. So single lines of code and multi lines of code. There you go.